Looks like we're live, I'm hoping. So I'm kind of testing some settings. I did this a couple of minutes ago, so if you're uh, if you're watching me for the second time in uh, two minutes, I do apologize. Just kind of trying to work out all the bugs before tomorrow, because tomorrow I will be doing another live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern. Now that would be uh, uh, <laughs> May 18th, not March 18th. So May 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm going to have my friend Peter Grazer from Copperweld stop by, and he and I are going to do a live stream together, and we're going to be talking about copper clad aluminum. Uh, if you're not familiar with Peter, Peter uh, works for Copperweld, and I, I can't think that there's really anybody in the country that, that knows more about the product than he does. Um, to say that he is an expert in copper clad aluminum would be to really understate it. Uh, he uh, works with the main manufacturer of it. He's been in the conductor and cable business since 1991. And uh, boy, if you have any questions, he is the guy to ask. So we're going to have him stop by. We're going to be doing the content live so that you can ask any questions that you have for Peter. And Peter would be more than happy to answer your questions. So when it comes to copper clad aluminum, I do think that it's something that, that just about everybody in the industry uh, really needs some more education on. Even if you know a bit about it, uh, and I, I would you know, include myself on that, all of us, including me, need more education on copper clad aluminum because it, it's not only going to be coming in the future, it, it's already here. And when it comes to technology, we, we have to embrace things. Whether we like them or hate them, we have to acknowledge and we have to understand them. And, uh, and we have to be able to take advantage of them, quite frankly. Copper clad aluminum, I think, is going to, to take a big piece of the market. So how do you size it? How do you terminate it? Uh, is the product safe? How readily available is it? Uh, these are questions that we're gonna be asking Peter and I'm really looking forward to hearing what he has to say. So just kind of playing around with some other settings here while I'm doing this. Um, copper clad aluminum, when they first manufacture it, it's in a rod like this. So this is a solid piece of AA 8000 series aluminum. And Peter will tell you this better than I will, but they actually, they metallurgically bond the copper layer over the aluminum and they do it in a vacuum, in an oxygen-free environment so that the aluminum cannot possibly uh, become oxidized, which is pretty cool. So they put this together in a big old rod. You can see it's about the size of my thumb. So maybe, I don't know, five eighths of an inch in diameter, uh, give or take, and then they stretch it on out. So next time you hear somebody ask for a wire stretcher, uh, there is such a thing <laughs> actually. And then they put it in uh, MC cable, right? So this is, uh, it feels like about 10 gauge. Here we've got some uh, 12 gauge NM cable that uses copper clad aluminum conductors. You can see the copper outside and the, uh, aluminum on the inside. And this I think is some four gauge NM cable. And again, you can see if I twist it just right, you can see that there's both copper and aluminum there. So aluminum on the inside, copper on the outside. But anyway, hope you'll join me. That's going to be May 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think if you want to know anything about copper clad, this will be a really good opportunity to ask probably the best in the business about the product. So hope to see you then. Cheers, everybody. And 